Hello out there in Facebook, Facebook land. This is Derek Hawkins from Master Key Associates, LLC, where our motto is uh, unlocking the potential of the mind. Uh, today I'm actually doing a short video on game changes. And uh, from time to time I'm doing short videos that relate to either business or health and wellness. Those are two of my passions. Uh, today's particular video is going to talk more about uh, the business side of what, what we call game changes. What is a game changer? Uh, to a lot of people, it depends. If you're like me, I'm a big sports fan. Uh, game changers are people that actually come and impact the game uh, and turn it completely around from the intended uh, direction. Hey there, Stu Powell. Hey, Deborah. Thanks for joining this evening. And let me talk about sports first and foremost. Uh, LeBron James, for example, in last year's NBA Finals, he was a game changer. Uh, throughout the series, uh, everybody counted him out. It had never been done before. They were down three games to one. And, uh, you know, for the most part, Nobody ever came back from being down that far. Uh, and what happened was, towards the end of the game, when it seemed like the game was over, LeBron James, he actually ran from one end of the court to the other, and he had blocked uh, Iguodala's shot. Now, had he made the shot, that pretty much would have ended the game. But, again, that was one of the most amazing plays I've ever seen. Uh, they went on to win the championship that year. And, again, that's what we talk about game changers. Uh, game changers, again, are people who make a huge difference in any event. Uh, another game changer, for those of you who may or may not like uh, uh, the, the last year's NFL, um, the winners of the of the Super Bowl uh, was the quarterback. I mean, again, that game looked like it was far, you know, it was far fetched. The game looked like it was over, but you can never count out the New England Patriots with their their quarterback, Tom Brady. Uh, again, that was one of the the most amazing games I've ever seen. Again, I'm not a, a, a big New England fan, fan but you have to respect what he did. So when we talk about small, uh, sports, uh, game changes, again, are clearly defined. Hey, to my brother, Rich Smith. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. Hey, Gina. Uh, again, so I'm going to talk about game changes when we talk about in a business. What is a game changer? A, a game changer in business is, a, is an idea or thought or a change of business practice that completely turns around uh, what I call an industry. And an example of that might be let me use uh, first uh, uh, Jeff Bezos. For those of you who may not know who Jeff Bezos is, he actually is the guy who started uh, uh, Amazon.com. And when he started, it was called, uh, it was a different name. But if you look at that company, it completely changed the retail business. He's a multi-billionaire, it changed the way we shop. And again, so he's what's considered a game changer. Another game changer is uh, a good uh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk is the gentleman who created the Tesla. The Tesla vehicle is one of the first cars run by lithium battery, electronic car. Uh, hey, Gina, what's up, Cox? Thanks for joining. And uh, if you think about that car, again, yeah, it's shaking up the auto industry because most automobiles, you have to go to a car dealership where they have hundreds of thousands of cars to choose from. In this case, uh, Elon Musk created a car where the, his showcase is in malls. You know, he might have one or two cars in a mall somewhere. Uh, so he's saving millions of dollars by not having to have a dealership. And he predicts by the year 2020, he's going to have five, he's going to be able to produce 500,000 cars in a year. Uh, hey, what's up, Mike? Thanks for joining us. Hey, cousin. Hey, hey Deborah. Uh, so again, that's another game changer. Elon Musk and the Tesla. If you've seen the Tesla vehicle, it's phenomenal. He's also working on some other things. Uh, also, Jeff Bezos from Amazon.com, he's working on having food delivered, uh, you know, using these new technology, using drones. So imagine that. Again, it seems far-fetched, but game changers are people who we call visionaries. Uh, another visionary I like to think about uh, is the people who, well, the companies are Redbox and Netflix. And I'm going to give you an example. How many of you actually still have a, a, a blockbuster that's still open in your neighborhood? I can guarantee you that 99% of you said no, but there is one still vital viable one actually but it's in alaska somewhere and it's more like a novelty than anything now what happened was blockbuster again as you know uh, you go to the store you pick up your dvd or your video uh you return it they made millions and millions of dollars just in late fees uh here comes uh, along comes a company like netflix and a company like redbox and they actually revolutionize the industry they game changes because now uh, you can actually get a dvd online streamlined from netflix and with Redbox, you can go to any uh, local supermarket or pharmacy, 
uh, any of these big uh, retail outlets and actually pick up a video from the store and return it to the same location. Uh, and again, they, they pretty much knocked Blockbuster out of the game. Again, that's what we call a game changer. They completely changed the industry. Now you look ahead to today, you have companies like Uber and Lyft. Uh, both of these companies are shaking up the transportation industry, particularly for limousine drivers, taxi industry. Uh, I met a gentleman a few weeks ago at a car dealership who used to own a limousine company, and he literally had eight, he said he had eight cars, and he was down to one car. And that's because uh, companies like Uber and Lyft, they shifted that industry where people can either use their own vehicles or rent a car to uh, transport people around. Again, that's another game changer. Uh, another game changer is in the hotel industry, Airbnb, uh, where you can now uh, go to someone's, if you're going out of state or out of the country and you want to rent, rather than rent a hotel, you can literally uh, go on Airbnb, pick out a location, uh, and actually literally, uh, you know, pay, somebody can pay to rent out their place. So uh, those are changing in the industry and those are changing the way uh, uh, that we live. Now, one of the reasons I, I wanted to talk about game changers tonight is that there's another game changer in the industry. And, and, and I think Bill Gates had a quote that said, if you want to be successful in business, find out where everyone is going and get there before they do. And I like to use another analogy. Uh, if anybody on the, on the line tonight surfs, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Now, if you surf at all, uh, if you understand how surf, surfing works, you have to wait for the wave to come. And before the wave comes, you have to get on your surfboard. And if you catch it just right, it will literally take you all the way to shore. Now, there are some people who are visionary. They see the wave coming, and they board and get on that surfboard before it actually arrives. And once you get in that surfboard, if you stay on it long enough and you catch it just right, it will actually literally take you all the way to shore, and you'll be smooth sailing. And I want you to think of that wave as, as some of those game changers that I talk about. Uber, Lyft, um, Airbnb, uh, Netflix, all these companies, again, uh, Elon Musk with, with the Tesla these are visionaries. They saw these industries. They saw these industries changing before everyone else, and they just took advantage of it, and they just rode the wave, and now they're successful. Uh, then you have people who actually who saw the wave coming, and those are the people that are kind of skeptical. They see things coming, and they say, you know what? It looks like a big wave coming, but I'm not sure. Let me wait till it gets a little closer. And those are the people who actually wait too late, and then a wave comes, and now you're trying to get on your surfboard. And by the time you get on your surfboard, you get knocked down underwater. You swim with the sharks. And by the time you do make it to shore, you're so tired and drained from fighting against the currents that you get there broke, destitute, and, and, and unsuccessful, which is why a lot of people miss their opportunities because, again, they kind of wait to see what happens and they don't take advantage of opportunities. Then you have those people who are, you know, who don't even get on the surfboard. They just at shore just waiting for the wave to come in. And, again, those are people, again, that don't take advantage of opportunities and never quite get there. And the reason I'm sharing that with you is there is another, uh, there is a wave coming. And this wave is a company called World Global Network. Uh, World Global Network is one of the first technology companies that's advancing uh, faster than some of the big companies. Those of you might be familiar with the, uh, the Fitbit. The Fitbit is what we call wearable technology. And it actually monitors some basic things, how many steps you take, your heart rate, uh, how you breathe. Uh, you know, some very basic, uh, what I call life vital signs. Well, World Global Network has a new technology that actually is not only monitors those things, but it also monitors some more important things. And in fact, by the, by the end of this year, it's going to be able to monitor uh, people's blood sugar. And, and for those of you who understand what that means, anybody that has a relative or family member or who may themselves be diabetic, uh, have to every month or a couple of times a day, they have to prick themselves and, and, uh, and, and actually monitor and, and test their blood sugar level. And it's painful. I know a lot of people don't like that, and, and I'm sure it's painful. Uh, but that's, what, that's the reality that people have to deal with. Imagine being able to, to monitor your blood sugar without having to prick yourself. Again, this device that I'm talking about is called a Hilo. And, uh, and I've actually, for the last two or three days, I, I finally got mine. And this is what it looks like, for those of you who can see my camera. This is a monitoring device. In fact, the two plates, when I put my two fingers on those plates, it actually reads my vital signs, and it actually reports that information back to my, uh, my, right back to my smart device. The other reason that this is important for those of you who might have children and uh, you're concerned about their whereabouts from time to time, there's a button on here that if you press it twice, it actually is a panic button. And what it does is sends a message to whoever's listed on that list and it tells them where they are by GPS. Uh, it lets them know that, hey, um, maybe I'm in danger, maybe I need help. It gives you the exact coordinates 
And uh, today, unfortunately, we have, we're faced with uh, the increased number of just missing children and people missing in general. So it's a, it's a safety device. Uh, maybe maybe some of you have elderly parents or, or relatives that live alone and, uh, you know, who you're concerned about. Well, you can get them one of these devices and you can monitor their vital signs, their heart rate, their, their blood pressure. You can even monitor their moods. Uh, again, this is uh, wearable technology at its finest. Industry has grown incredibly. Uh, you know, in the next few years, Forbes predicts that this is going to go from about 114 million devices to over 400 million devices. Uh, World Global Network is only looking to get 3% of that market. So you're talking about uh, a tremendous amount of devices that people are going to uh, particularly purchase. Now, the company itself is, a again, a global company in over 195 countries. Uh, and uh, again, I share this with you because it is uh, one of my passions is health and wellness. The other one is uh, is is obviously uh, business. But health and wellness is at the top. Uh, obviously, I only like to participate in things that have a purpose and, and that, that I'm passionate about. And this is helping a lot of people. There was a gentleman in the Philippines who uh, felt a little sick. He wasn't sure what would bother him. He, he actually checked his Hilo device and they told him that his vital signs were, 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 you know, were weakening. So he went into his doctor and he told him that you came in at a good time because it could have been, you know, the outcome could have been worse. So this is not a medical device. Again, it's a monitoring device. It's the way of the world. Uh, wearable technology is one of the, again, one of the, you know, fastest growing industries. Again, if you haven't heard of the Fitbit and the Apple Watch, I'm sure most of you have. Uh, uh, the gentleman who's responsible for actually developing this device uh, used to work for Apple. And if you look at the device and you look at the packaging, you'll notice that it, it, it actually looks a lot like an Apple device. Here's actually the box. I just got my device. Again, well packaged, quality device. Again, for those of you who are watching and joining us, again, I'm, I'm promoting this, again, because it's a health monitoring device. It can help a lot of people. You don't have to do it as a business. Uh, the great thing about this opportunity and about this device is, you know, I do all my business from home. You know, I share a two-minute video, uh, and if, if people have questions, I, I give them a five-minute video, and if they have more questions, I can send them to a 30-minute webinar. So this is something you could do from home. You don't have to pressure family and friends. But again, the idea is that you can help a lot of people. You know, monitoring people's uh, vital signs is very important. Uh, this device is just one of many that the, that the company has to offer. Again, so again, you know, when we talk about game changers, this is definitely a game changer. For those of you who might be investors, about a year ago, um, uh, this company whose, uh, whose symbol is WRMT, they were selling about a, at a dollar per share. Now that's their share, they're selling somewhere between 12 and 15 dollars this year. I'm not giving you financial advice. Uh, again, I, I, I have been involved in investment clubs, but it's always good to do your own due diligence. Check out the company uh, for yourself. See if it's something worth uh, looking into and, uh, and, and, again, investing into the future. Again, game changes don't come around that often. Uh, some of you who may be from my era remember uh, the Betamax. Uh, Betamax was a, a, a tape device, a video device, and it was made by Sony. Now, with Sony's big, uh, I, I, I can say, they didn't have the foresight at the time. They wanted to be the only people that had that technology. So no other technology company could sell a Betamax. So guess what? Out came the VHS. And after VHS came out, all the other electronic companies started developing, and then uh, it became obsolete. So again, game changes come along once in a while. Uh, again, some of them, are, again, develop every day. Now, you can position yourself before a game changer, and you could do something about it. Uh, you can have tremendous success. So... For those of you who are watching tonight, again, thanks for taking out the time to, to, to share with me and, and learn about what I call a game changer. Uh, World Global Network is a game changer. The Hilo Watch is a game changer. Again, I've been monitoring my, my bottles all day today. I ran into a friend of mine who, who just realized he's diabetic, so he has to kind of watch what he eats. So I just say, hey, why don't you uh, consider getting the Hilo? You can monitor your, your, your sugar levels. Eventually, uh, for those of you who are pre-diabetic, who are diabetic, by the end of this year, the company's going to come out with a, uh, a way for you can actually monitor your blood sugar levels. That's going to be huge. Um, again, people that are a diabetic, uh, they hate to prick themselves and, and um, to, to, to check their blood sugar levels. I know it's painful for me just to watch it, but so imagine being able to give somebody the opportunity to not have to go through that pain. Again, the game changer is World Global Network, the device called Hilo. Uh, I'm going to post some links here, but I'll give it to you now. If you want to see a 30-minute webinar live, uh, just go to www.helo.money.com. 
That's www.helo.money.com. That's helomoney.com. Again, you'll get an opportunity to watch a live uh, webinar. And we have about six of them a day, so you, you can pick from those times. I'm going to post my website for those of you who want more information about this game changer. It's uh, www.dhawkins.helo.life. And again, I'll post that after the, the webinar, after this uh, Facebook Live. For those of you who get more information, for those of you, again, who just want to have information about the device, uh, you can actually buy the device and actually promote it to other people. And if somebody else gets it through you, uh, you get compensated for that. Uh, for those of you just looking to, uh, again, uh, monitor and take care of your loved ones, whether it's uh, you know, somebody, uh, your children, whether it's elderly people in your family uh, that you care about and you want to keep tabs on that you can't always be there physically, this is one way to do it. And for those of you who may be interested in uh, a, a company that might be a good investment, again, I'm not giving you uh, investment op information, but if you are interested, take a look at WRMT. It's on the stock market. A company's growing like crazy. And over the next couple of years, it's going to continue to grow. So there's opportunities for everyone who are watching. And again, I'm going to post some links on it after this evening. I want to thank all of you who joined. I see my brother Armel Johnson out of New Jer out of Queens. Brother Greg X, South Jamaica, doing some great things in the community. Thanks for joining us. I see Greg Gregory Phillips. Uh, I know you missed the, the beginning of the video, but again, I'm going to repost it so you can actually catch it from start to finish. Again, from time to time, I'm going to be sharing videos. It's either going to cover health and wellness, or it's either going to cover some business uh, marketing or tool or information for you to help grow your own business. Again, I'm an entrepreneur at heart, uh, and I'm getting looking forward to retiring from full-time work uh, to dive in uh, to do some other things. So, hey, what's up, Pete Edwards? Uh, good to see you online, my brother. And uh, my condolences to you. I did hear about your recent passing mother. What's up, G.D. Lartz out of Queens? Uh, again, I'm glad to see all my family from, from Queens joining me, even though I'm here in New Jersey. And again, I thank you for taking the time to watch and, and just listen to, to some information that you can uh, impart with others. And, if, and I, if you get a chance, follow me on, on Facebook Live. I'll be doing these more often. Uh, and also, uh, you know, subscribe so that when I do do a live webinar, I'll get a more uh, an advanced notice. Hey, Will Cox, my childhood brother, grew up together. Mr. Richard Harper, how you doing, my brother? Again, thanks you all for joining this evening. Again, I'm going to be logging off soon, but if you get a chance, subscribe to my uh, my uh, Facebook Live channel so when I do come on, uh, you can definitely uh, get get a better notice ahead of time. And again, I'm going to record it and uh, repost it so those of you might have missed it from the beginning, uh, and you can definitely join me. And I do apologize if I didn't call out all of the names of the people that were uh, joining in and out. Again, I didn't have a chance to do so. Uh, while I was sharing information. But again, remember, game changes only come around once. Uh, and again, here's one that is here. Take advantage of it. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next Facebook Live. Take care. Have a good evening. Tim Cloud, take care.